Hello, my little ticks and maggots, and welcome to the first official press conference of the 2019 New York Yankees season. I trust you all had some nice time off sitting in those fat cottage cheese asses while mold grew in your balls and you jerked off watching Vanna White turn over letters on the Wheel of Fortune. It's the dawn of a new age in Yankee baseball, and I am here to bring you up to speed of what will be happening starting tomorrow. So please follow along. Tomorrow, February 13th, pitchers and catchers will be reporting. We've asked the pitchers to bring their arms and the catchers to bring their gloves and some balls so they can have a catch. On February 14th, the pitchers and catchers will have their first workout. On February 18th, position players will report. I have not decided what positions I want them in yet. I will probably want some of them bent over and some of them may be doing yoga poses and I think I want to see CC naked and make him do the hula hoop in the shower so we can all have a good laugh. On February 19th, the entire squad will have the first full workout. Here are some other dates that most teams do not report on, but we do because we are completely transparent in the Yankee organization. On February 17th, the accounting department and only cafeteria workers who wear hairnets will be reporting. On February 20th, the full squad will have a first circle jerk. This is always a mess, and I honestly don't know why we scheduled this. On February 22nd, all meter maids, parking lot white line painters, and janitors will report. Now, let me be crystal clear about the parking lot painters. All races of painters will be reporting, not just white line painters. They are painting white lines, not white people painting white lines. Do you all understand what I'm saying? Just nod your heads. Okay, so some of you get it and some of you don't. It is what it is. Have your friends explain this to you. On February 24th, uh, belly dancers, midget wrestlers, and the cast of Dirty Dancing will report. Okay, so let's move on. I am not here to talk to you about off-season moves we are currently working on. We will always try to improve our chances to win a World Series. We haven't decided if we should bring in some big-name upgrades like Harper or Machado, or if we should just give the Boston Red Sox food poisoning at different times throughout the season. The food poisoning thing could be very effective and is much cheaper, but we believe this might be against the law, so we have legal looking into this. Personally, I am dead set against giving any player except Mike Trout a really long and crazy expensive contract. Trout has simply proved he is great offensively and defensively, and he will bring a future Hall of Fame career to this team. Harper has only proven that he can grow a beard like the Amish, and Machado will get crucified the first time he dogs it in the field or at the plate. That said, I would take any of those players unless we do not offer them a deal, or they do not accept a deal, or they do not want to play for the Yankees. Am I crystal clear? Please tell me you understand. Okay. We won 100 games last year. Our goal is to win 200 games this year, but that may not be possible. Regardless, we really don't care how many games we win. The goal this year, as it is every year, is to get to the World Series and win it. Anything less than that is considered a failure. We have a high set of standards in this organization, and we intend to do everything we can to help this team achieve the greatest success. Oh, and uh, we are also, we want to try to get a better hotel deal because we spend a fortune on traveling during the season. Okay, does anyone have any questions? If you raise your hand, I will personally come over to you and kick you in your fucking nuts. Any questions? Good. You can all go next door. We have a traditional Florida spread set up for you. Uh, there's assorted fruit, bags of cocaine, a beautiful seafood tray, a bowl of terrific marijuana, and some handguns. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, get ready for a new year of Yankee baseball. It is time for us to go to the last level with this team and begin another dynasty. This is how I will leave you for now. Hope springs eternal, as my buddy Louis G says every year, the world is good again. Thank you. Yes, we got nine millimeters next to the weed.
Over there, over there. Now, keep going. 